Hey y'all, welcome back to the future of SourceFed. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. That's technically correct. I'm the Steve Zargos of the past filming the SourceFed of the future. Exactly! Hoverboards! We've wanted them for years, and while we've seen some sweet prop replicas, we are rapidly approaching 2015 where we're supposed to dress like this, and this, and Pepsi's supposed to look like this, and we're supposed to travel on these, or in these, and maybe even wear these. We're running out of time to make this happen. Well, good news on the BTTF2 progress front. California startup Arcs Pax has created a working hoverboard. Like, it actually hovers. Currently in crowdfunding stage, the Hendo hoverboard not only hovers on its own, but the current prototype can support up to 300 pounds. The Hendo uses electromagnetic field technology, like the Maglev magnetic train in Japan, so it will only work on non-ferrous metals like copper or aluminum. And not surprisingly, kicking your foot next to the board midair does nothing to propel it forward. So it will need some type of propulsion system to actually be used as transportation. Those boards don't work on nothing, unless you got copper or aluminum. The awesome guy behind the Hendo is Greg Henderson, who said that he he wasn't intending to create a new form of transportation, but instead he was thinking more of a safety mechanism. He hopes this type of hover tech can eventually be used to lift whole buildings during earthquakes. I'm on board. See what I did there? On board. No, seriously, this is so cool. You know what else is awesome? That Nike Air Mag designer, Tinker Hatfuke, was asked if power laces would be ready by 2015, and he gave an enthusiastic yes. No details on whether the power laces will be on a new type of Air Mag or other high-end shoe, but so cool! Oh, I've wanted those shoes forever! Now that they might have power laces, they're gonna be perfect! No one had thousands of dollars to spend on those mags when they went up on eBay years ago to help Michael J. Fox and his Parkinson's. And they didn't have power laces then. They totally didn't. But they still look cool. I've seen them at cons, people wearing them. And I'm like, why would you even wear those, bro? Why? To help Michael J. Fox. Yeah, but you might get gum on them or something. Keep them in a case, light them up. Show yeah. them your friends. Don't get con funk on your shoes. Ooh. So if you've got 1.21 gigawatts of excitement for 2015 to finally be as glorious as the 80s imagined it, you can donate to the Hendo's Kickstarter to try the board for five minutes to an hour, or even get your own board for a mere $10,000. And yes, you'll get it on 10-21-2015, one year from today, and the exact date that Marty arrives in the future in Back to the Future 2. I'm Steve. I'm Trish. Whoa, this is heavy. What's wrong with the sense of gravity in the future? <laughs> Wait, I forgot the line. <laughs>